Campi Flegre, also known as the Flegrian Fields, is a large volcanic area located in the western part of Italy, near the city of Naples. It is one of the most closely monitored and potentially hazardous volcanic areas in the world due to its history of volcanic activity and its proximity to densely populated areas. The volcano last erupted in 1538, but there is now a greater threat than ever of a rupture. A new study suggests that an Italian volcano that is home to 500,000 people is getting closer to erupting. It has been a target of research due to its complicated geography. The Campi Fligre is not a single volcano but rather a complex of numerous volcanic features, including calderas, craters, and fumaroles. The caldera itself is a vast depression formed by the collapse of the land following intense volcanic activity. The Campi Fligre has a history of producing explosive eruptions, which can release massive amounts of ash, gases, and volcanic materials into the atmosphere. This can lead to the formation of volcanic plumes that can reach high altitudes and spread over wide areas. According to study co-author Stefano Collino, the Campi Fligre Flegrian Fields supervolcano near Naples is in an extremely dangerous condition. The evacuation plan is established by the local authorities and monthly risk assessments are performed. Although the Vesuvius volcano, which destroyed the city of Pompeii in 69 AD, is more well known, the Campi Fligre volcano is an even more immediate threat. The red zone, the area of greatest risk as determined by Italy's Civil Protection Agency, is home to 500,000 people and spans a sizable area with a gentle depression measuring 12 to 14 kilometers in length. The yellow zone is home to another 800,000 people. The history of the Campi Fligre volcano, also known as the Flegrian Fields, spans thousands of years and is marked by a series of significant volcanic events. The volcanic activity in the Campi Fligre area dates back to prehistoric times. Around 39,000 years ago, a massive eruption occurred, forming the large caldera that characterizes the region. This eruption is known as the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption and was one of the most powerful volcanic events in human history. One of the later eruptions occurred about 4,000 years ago, resulting in the formation of the Astroni Crater. This eruption had a significant impact on the local landscape. Eight days of the volcano's 1538 eruption produced enough lava, rocks, and ash clouds to create a new mountain. A second surge in activity in the 1980s forced the evacuation of 40,000 people living nearby. The volcano is thought to have played a role in the extinction of the Neanderthal man around 30,000 years ago. Eight days of the volcano's 1538 eruption produced enough lava, rocks, and ash clouds to create a new mountain. A second surge in activity in the 1980s forced the evacuation of 40,000 people living nearby. The supervolcano has been comparatively quiet ever since. The National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, in Italy and University College London UCL, Researchers have now discovered, however, that reawakening may be imminent. In recent decades, significant advancements in monitoring technology have allowed scientists to closely track the volcanic activity in the Campi Fligre area. Ground deformation, seismic activity, gas emissions, and other indicators are continuously monitored to detect any changes that could signal increased volcanic activity. It's important to note that while the Campi Fligre is a high-risk volcanic area, accurately predicting the timing and magnitude of an eruption remains challenging. Lead author Christopher Kilburn from UCL said, We're not saying there will be an eruption, but the conditions are more favorable for an eruption. One factor is the caldera, a hollow at the volcano's summit that has been weakened by tens of thousands of small earthquakes since the 1950s. The Campi Fligre volcano could now erupt at any given moment. The scientists stated that parts of the volcano had been stretched nearly to breaking point in the study, which was published in the journal Nature on Friday. The number of minor tremors has increased since 2019, 
which has put more pressure on the volcano's crust. 600 of these vibrations were counted in April. The surrounding terrain has also risen. The report claims that since the 1950s, the seaside town of Potswoli has risen by almost 4 meters. An eruption might not be preceded by any discernible increase in activity because earthquakes and ground uplift are cumulative. According to the study's authors, an eventual eruption could be preceded by relatively weak signals, such as a smaller rate of ground uplift and fewer earthquakes. They added that while a large eruption was unlikely, several smaller ones might occur. Kilburn added that for an eruption to happen, the magma needs to be pushing up at the right location. If the Campi Flegre volcano erupts, what happens? If the Campi Flegre volcano were to erupt, it could have significant impacts on the surrounding region and potentially beyond. The extent and severity of the impacts would depend on the size, type and duration of the eruption. Depending on the scale of the eruption, large amounts of volcanic ash and gases injected into the atmosphere can have global climate effects. Particles and gases can reflect sunlight, leading to temporary cooling of the Earth's surface. This phenomenon has been observed in past volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions release gases such as sulfur dioxide SO2 and carbon dioxide CO2. These gases can contribute to air pollution, impact air quality, and have health implications for those exposed. An eruption of the Campi Flegre could disrupt local and regional economies due to damage to infrastructure, agriculture, tourism, and other industries. Prior to an eruption, the movement of magma and associated ground deformation can occur. This can lead to changes in the landscape, including the uplifting or sinking of the ground. Infrastructure, roads and buildings can be damaged by such movements. Ashfall from an eruption can cover vast areas, affecting agricultural lands, water sources and infrastructure. Ash can be heavy and damaging to buildings, vehicles and machinery. It can also pose health risks to people, as breathing in volcanic ash particles can cause respiratory problems. Highly destructive pyroclastic flows can travel at high speeds, incinerating everything in their path. These flows can be triggered by explosive eruptions and have the potential to cause widespread devastation. Magma movement beneath the surface can cause the ground to deform and trigger earthquakes. These earthquakes can damage structures and infrastructure, leading to additional hazards. In the short term, it would be a disaster. Authorities have developed contingency plans and evacuation procedures to address the potential hazards posed by the Campi Flegre volcano. These plans aim to minimize the impact on local communities in case of volcanic activity. This states that residents must leave the area within three days using either private or public transportation. Each month, the green, yellow, orange and red risk levels are reviewed. Currently, the alert level in Potswoli is yellow, Council spokesperson Giordana Mobilio informed. When there is a tremor with a Richter magnitude of 1.5 or higher, text alerts are also sent to nearby residents. Did this catch your interest? Please subscribe to Weather Collapse if you want to know more and be updated on the latest news about natural calamities or disasters happening all over the world, and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.